Christians should not celebrate Diwali, and this is why. Growing up as a Hindu, every single year we used to celebrate Diwali. And every single year, we used to do Rangoli, used to do the pujas, as well as celebrate with firecrackers. But after I became a Christian, I had to ask myself, do Christians celebrate Diwali? And every single time when my family and my community asked me to celebrate Diwali, I had to make a tough decision. I wanted to be a part of their culture, but I also wanted to make sure that I'm following Jesus. I had three questions. One, should Christians celebrate Diwali? If I can't celebrate Diwali, what should I tell my Hindu friends and family about Diwali? How can I share the gospel of Jesus Christ during this event? Diwali is a five-day celebration where on the third day, everyone comes together and lights up candles and diyas and starts breaking up firecrackers everywhere. It's known as the festival of lights. It's also known as when good has overcome evil. The question here is, what good has overcome what evil? Let's jump right into the story of Rama and Sita. Rama and Sita were exiled from their kingdom for 14 years. And during this time period, Sita was kidnapped. And Rama saved Sita from this evil king. And they both started going back to the kingdom. When they were approaching the kingdom, the villagers heard about Rama and Sita returning. They got all the lights and they started to create a row of lights for them to walk through. On the surface level, it sounds like that's okay, right? All they're doing is just honoring two people. But when you look at the actual theology, you will see that Rama is the incarnation of Vishnu and Sita is the incarnation of Lakshmi. And they are considered divine beings. Because they are considered divine beings, there is a religious significance about this tradition. We need to recognize what we are celebrating or participating in as a believer in Christ. Now, what does the Bible say about Diwali? The so worship the Lord our God and Him only shall we serve. When we are married to someone, we are married to one person and that one person, we love them. We're not going off dating other people, kissing other people and cheating on with other people. So when we go worship other gods or whatever, that is you cheating on God. God doesn't want you to worship other gods but Him. He wants an intimate relationship with you. We have to understand that our family and our friends might not understand that. I struggled with this for a long time. I love my family and I want them to know Jesus. What you can say to your Hindu friends or your family when they're asking you these things. Oh, Rohit, go get the crackers. We're gonna start doing Diwali celebrations. God, what do I say? I have no idea. Is it right for me to celebrate Diwali? Uh, I don't know what to do, Father. I'm just gonna tell the truth. Mom, I am not going to celebrate Diwali, okay? God has written that we shall worship the Lord our God and Him only shall we serve. Diwali is worshiping Rama and Sita and I'm not doing that. Thank you for asking me and I will let you guys do it. I love you, I don't wanna do this. There are three things you need to do when you are explaining to your family that you do not wanna do Hindu traditions or Diwali. Number one, you have to say thank you. Be grateful that they've invited you. Number two, you wanna state the Bible. You wanna state what God has said in the Bible. And then the last one is to give them an analogy. How can I evangelize to my family during this time period? Diwali is a celebration of lights, good overcoming evil. But as Christians, we celebrate Jesus Christ, who is the light of the world. He loved all people. He was a light for poor people. He was a light for rich people. He was a light for all of us to have eternal life. But the people hated the light and they rejected the light. And so they crucified him. But Jesus' love was so great that his light continued to shine even to this day. That's why I'm a Christian, because he died for me, resurrected, and he's the light of the world. Diwali is a celebration of lights, and the true light of the world came through Jesus Christ. Yes, it is convenient for you to say, oh yeah, I'll do whatever you ask me to do. But if you're a committed Christian, you will obey God's commands. Whenever you're facing different pujas and traditions that your family is telling you to do or your friends are inviting you to do, remember, number one, do your research. Where is this puja? Who is it honoring? Who does it worship? Make sure that you are in prayer. Pray for the ask the Lord for wisdom, knowledge, and courage. Make sure that you're reading your Bible and seeing what the Bible says about doing this tradition or doing this puja. God hates pujas. And the reason why is that traditions enslaved the very people it was supposed to help. Pharisees held traditions and Jesus says that was wrong because they cared more about their traditions than they cared about the people around them. 
So traditions enslave the people. In India, if you're a lower caste person, there are traditions at temples that don't allow lower caste people to enter the temple because that is the tradition. So tradition keeps people away from God too. So this is why God wanted to abolish traditions. Traditions are not good for humanity. It might be good for controlling people and power, but that is not God's intention. God wants you to become more like Jesus. And if you are a persecuted Christian, someone who's in a Hindu or a Muslim family and have told their family that you're a Christian, watch this testimony right here. Make sure that you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.